Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Harry Potter 2004 Hagrid's Hut set with two minifigures, 302 pieces, and it retails for $30 when it was released. Let's just open this flap right here, devaluing it by hundreds. But inside, there's your instructions and a whole bunch of pieces. Here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here's the second Hagrid that LEGO has ever released. Same exact version introduced in the Sorcerer's Stone sets. The only difference is the flesh skin, so the flesh hands, and also the flesh headpiece. This whole torso area is exact same with the nice stitching detail at the back, uh, the little pockets at the side. You can see how that whole body works. It's a really interesting body where you can't move the legs, but they connect to four studs. I always liked the design of the Hagrid figure. This big rubbery hair piece and the same face print, but now it's in flesh. So that's it for Hagrid. And he also came in the 2007 Hogwarts Castle, so that's the second time you can get this version of Hagrid. As for Hermione, this version with the torso and face print also came in the Hogwarts Castle for Prisoner of Azkaban. You can see the torso has a time turner there, which I really like that detailing. And yeah, same recolor of that 2001 face, except it's on flesh right here. No back torso printing. She does have this big cape though, and no back facial printing. This hair piece is always very hard to take off, but that is it for this version of Hermione. And of course, we can't forget the old wands right here, which were just the bar piece. It looks ridiculous at this point. So for the second version, the build is already better than the 2001 version because there's no paper roof. It's an actual brick built roof, which I really appreciate. Other than that, the exterior looks really good. It looks like something that could release today, minus I guess it might use some older grays. I'm not entirely sure. There's this nice printed panel on the side right here. There's two entries through doors. There's that front door we just looked at and this back door. But the easiest way to open it up is, since this is on a little hinge design, you can open it up just like that and it gives you enough room to play around with. There's another entry right here, which is this uh, fireplace. And if you wanna open that up, you can go that way as well. Oh, and that fireplace has a secret hidden book, which doesn't have any printing to it, unfortunately, but you could access it just by pulling down that lever. Now let's take a look at the inside of Haggard's hut. And moving through there, you could see that at the right of the hut, there is a little space to not only sit down, but you could eat with this nice plate right here, two cups, and also a goblet. So that's pretty neat. Not too much else going on there. There's these windows as well. Move on to the left, and there's that whole fireplace which does open. Not too much going on there, but uh, there's also this little rat right here. A ladle inside this uh, cauldron, which is pretty neat. And next to that, there's this nice little vial right here. What I really like about that is the color of this, I think it's like a translucent flaming orange for the crystal. I don't think I have the crystal or the gem piece in that color before, so that's actually really nice to get. Doesn't come in too many other sets, so I appreciate that. Just put that back there. There's also, at this left part right here, another one of those hidden compartments where the outside has a hatchet and also a bow, or a crossbow, and this nice bluish gray bat, which only came in this set, so that's actually one of the rarest pieces in the set. But if you want to open it up, inside there's a little space and a spider, which can actually move around since it odds on one of those studded uh, Technic pins right there. But there's not too much else going on with the inside of this, which is understandable. I mean, it is a $30 set. You close it up. Like I said, with the roof, uh, it's actually fixated in a certain position. So if you want to open it up from the roof area, that's impossible. Not too much else. One last thing I want to point out though, is that there's this area right here with two pumpkins. It's really nice to get the minifigure head in orange. And also there is a back door as well, which this whole back area does have a space that has two tools. So if you wanna open up the hut through that way, you can go through there as well. But that is it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. Well, we already sort of took a look at the box. There's not too much else to add upon here, but uh, that's really it for the box design. The instructions are just a solid booklet. And at the end, we do have an ad for not only the win design before they had the screaming kids. You have the alternate builds, which I really like how that one looks. Also, you have an ad of the rest of the Prisoner of Ask Command sets. This one we've reviewed. Oh, I want to get this one so badly. 
have this one and apparently it's super rare but it's, it's all in pieces also own this one we reviewed this one also own this one and those three are all in pieces don't know if i'll ever get that uh, hogwarts castle but i always liked how it had the clock tower design right there but that is it for the instructions i guess there's not too much else except uh, little play features and such it's funny i said that's all for the catalog but there's also this part at the back which i've always love this design. I think this makes for a cool poster. I think they've sold it as a poster before or gave it away as a poster because I remember seeing this when I was younger a lot. There's also an ad for a free shop at home catalog, which I've actually covered that one before and I think this one as well. And then we have this little pullout poster, some other 2004 Lego sets or even 2003 stuff. We have those micro stuff from Star Wars, racers, Harry Potter, which huh, Chamber of Secrets stuff and Orient Expedition, which I love this theme so much. Classic Bionicle up there, I think I had some of those guys. And then you actually have the cover of one of the catalogs, and uh, at the top you have some of the NBA stuff, which really interests me. I think the 2004 version is way better in its build than the 2001 version, with the brick-built roofs in this version, an interior that opens up very smoothly, and an exterior that looks like something that could release today. Other than that, though, I think for $30, you got a lot of fun packed in here. I love play sets that are on the cheaper side. Also, the minifigures are pretty interesting as well. I like that Time Turner print especially. There's not too much else to expand upon here. I really like this set. And now we got to move on to the 2010 version, and then we'll end with the 2019 version coming out this summer. Once again, this was voted on by $2 of Patreon supporters. Click that card right there because I just put a new poll up and I want to see what you guys think I should review next in terms of these bigger sets like the Hagrid's Hut. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.